A friend of me wanted to have an antenna that is more broadband uh, for the DAB plus uh, reception and it's about uh, 230 megahertz so a dipole is not sufficient so we're looking for some other antenna and in this case I was thinking about a BAU-T antenna several websites can be found on the internet with the calculator in it like this you key in the center frequency in this case 202 megahertz you click on calculate and this is the output however you see here the width in millimeters or put number three and when we look at the figure you have here the width that's half the dipole and here's the width the full length of the dipole and you have also here a distance gap and the height is mentioned here as L uh, I know this is a, a, a printed bow tie antenna and this is the normal bow tie antenna but so much difference uh, in misunderstanding so I keyed in uh, 150 megahertz and that's the 2 meter band this is the bandwidth and here the width in millimeters is 750 but if you mention width here that's only half the dipole and then it's 750 uh, much too large because when you have thicker elements than normal dipole uh, they should be shorter so I think this width should be uh, the total length of the dipole so I search for another website and this is another online calculator that uh, made more sense to me if you key in the frequency 202 megahertz again and we calculate then we have this as output the dipole length is 460.9 and that's here the total length and here is the width mentioned as the other side of the triangle it's confusing um, what's all mentioned here this antenna has horizontal polarization it is mentioned horizontal for the DAB plus uh, we need vertical polarization so we need to uh, rotate it 90 degrees and indeed you see here that it is the physical length is about 0.7 lambda so that's why I had more confidence in this but I will first simulate it with the program MANA and see uh, if it is really uh, uh, in band another issue is this is a complete closed triangle and we will make it only with one wire so that can also make some difference let's find out so I uh, entered all dimensions uh, in the geometry of MANA and this shows up it is vertically polarized fat in the center let's see what happens when we calculate I click on start and it says on this frequency 202 megahertz it has a bad SWR so it's not very good the plot shows that it is round this is normal seeing the height and um, let's see where the resonance frequency is we click on plots we make it a lot mod um, 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 higher bandwidth and we click on resonance yes we want to have this and then you can see what the SWR is on 172.981 megahertz so at least this is not the 202 megahertz we expected to see we can easily change that we do 172 for this or 173 <coughs> for this example uh, we first do in geometry 173 and then we go here to wire scale and we key in here as new frequency 202 
then it calculates for those axes what the difference of scale must be, and this is the multiplier. Okay, and when we then calculate, oh, we first have to of course set this back because it is now 202 megahertz if everything works all right and then we calculate we say start and then we see at SWR that is clearly uh, very good we do now the plots and we choose again uh, 40 megahertz bandwidth and we click here on details and we see here for all these frequencies the plot the Z the SWR we see now that it is 202 megahertz however it has not the bandwidth that we would like to have but at least it is large <laughs> we will check the same with a dipole so I modeled now a dipole nothing funny calculate start it shows an SWR that could be expected because a dipole is of course uh, normally 75 ohms and then we go to plots and we can do the same bandwidth was it 40 and then detailed You see that this curve looks fine, and now I will compare it with uh, the bow tie antenna. And this is the bow tie antenna, and this is the dipole. And as you can see here, is the bandwidth about 11.5 megahertz uh, when you accept an SWR of two and here you see that it is double uh, the bandwidth if you accept the SWR of two when you look at the SWR 1.5 there's not a lot of difference it's only uh, one megahertz two megahertz difference so let's check it in real world let's build it these are the dimensions of this bow tie antenna when I click on a wire so this is four times the same of course the length is 0.251 meter and this one it is the same as this one on the bottom the length is 0 0.197 meter and then you have here in the center what we call the gap between the two triangles and the length is 0.021 meter and in the center it is vet fat with a coaxial cable uh, with a, a shock a common mode shock uh, in it if you subscribe to my channel you will be informed when uh, I have the practical uh, assembly made and some tests see you